Hi guys, my name is Marlon Ceballos and in this video I'll show you how we can create images using Google Gemini. Google Gemini is the same former Google Bar. That means that Google renamed or rebranded Google Bar to Google Gemini, but has the same functionality. Right now, we can create images using Google Gemini. This is the actual interface of Google Gemini. In the lower part of the interface, we can find this field for write the prompt. In this prompt, we can describe the images that we need to create. For example, I'm gonna paste a prompt that I previously prepared. Create an image of a woman at a coffee table on a street in Paris. That part is very important because this part is telling to Gemini that I want to create an image. If I don't use this part, I'm gonna remove this part, then Gemini search this image or search an image based in this description. For example, I'm gonna click the button Summit and this is the result. The result is this image that Gemini find in internet and this is the description of this image. But again, we don't need Gemini search the image. We need create an image. So this is the complete prompt. Create an image of woman at a coffee table on a street in Paris. So I'm gonna click the submit button. I'll wait again. And now we got this message. Right now, Google is unable to create images of people. Today is February 27. Uh, maybe this will fix soon, but right now it's not possible again create images from people. So I'm gonna use a different prompt. The prompt is create an image of close-up photography of a playful puppy with happy eyes. Again, we should describe the prompt as good as possible. So in this case, we are saying we need a photography close-up. Close-up means the virtual camera is very close to the main subject. I said virtual camera because I'm not using a real camera for get these images. So if the camera or the virtual camera is close to the main object, the main object is bigger in the photography. And if the main object is bigger in the photography, maybe we can get better detail. The detail is more realistic. We describing the poppy saying, for example, is playful. This is a additional information that Gemini will use to get the better image as possible. And happy eyes. So I'm gonna click the Summit button and I'll wait for result. And this is the result. This is the first image, it's good. This is the second one, it's good too third one, and this is the fourth images. The images are pretty close to the description or pretty close to the prompt, but I'm gonna use a second prompt more descriptive. This is the second prompt. Create an image of a puppy with happy eyes and playful attitude approaching to the camera with its tongue out. As you can see, I'm giving, in this case, more information. For example, it's more dynamic, the description, because I said it's approaching the camera. And this is a physical description, tongue out, again, close up, and describing the, the light, warm light. This is jealous light, it's a light that we normally see, for example, in sunsets. So I hope this information allows to get uh, better images. So I'm gonna click the Summit button and this is the result. 
If we compare this set of images with this set of images, these images are more dynamic, uh, has more quality because we describe better these images. Now I'm gonna use a different prompt, a wood cabin in the middle of a fantastic forest with a river. This is the main element, the wood cabin. This is the context or the place where is located this element, a fantastic forest. And this is an additional information with a river. I need to specify it, create an image. And now I'm going to click the Summit button. And this is the result. First image, second image, third, and fourth. Again, the images are pretty close to the description in the prompt. But now, I'm going to copy and paste this prompt. And I want to add more description. For example, I need a um, detailed and beautiful wood cabin. As you can see, I'm trying to describe better the main element. I'm going to click the Summit button, and this is the result. The result has more detail. I'm going to review the first image, the second image, third image, fourth image, and all versions has more detail or are more detailed to the previous one. For example, this image has detail, but these versions are more detailed. I'm gonna use a different prompt. In fact, it's the same prompt, but with more information. Create a photograph of a detailed, beautiful wood cabin in the middle of Fantastic Forest with a lake with reflection. In this case, I'm saying that I need a photograph, not a painting, not an illustrations, but a photograph. Close up and a new information about the camera. In this case, about the position of the camera. The camera is on top, taking the picture bottom. So I'm gonna click the Summit button And this is the result. The detail is more photographic. The second, the third, and the fourth. As you can see, there is a lake. The lake has reflection, the wood cabin, etc. In this case, I'm saying that I need to create a painting, not a photographic like the last example, but a painting of a detailed, beautiful wood cabin in the middle of a fantastic forest with a lake with reflection and a style watercolor. So I'm going to click the Summit button. As you can see, I use in this case a style. The style can be, for example, an art style, a painting style, a material of the painting, for example, uh, some kind of paper, uh, some kind of pencil, some kind of pen, etc. So this is the result. As we can see, it's a painting or has an, a painting appearance and a painting using watercolor ink or watercolor pigment. I like this one, in fact. It's a painting with watercolor style, I have the lake, I have the reflection pretty close to the prompt. And this is how we can create images using Google Gemini. If you like this video, thumbs up. 